Yo, welcome back to the Maya bedroom. We are back right now and what we are going to do is something I know you guys like. We're gonna unbox some manga guys. We're gonna fill this back up and I've got a lot of stuff to show you. So starting off with the first package, this one and uh, we know which company it is from but we don't know what it contains yet. So let's open it up and see which manga is inside of the first package. All right, these are so my hero volumes that I ordered a while back. First of all, we got my hero volume three right here. I've been trying to get into my hero recently. Uh, it has been something that I wanted to read for a long time. And my hero is just something that is really, really cool that I just never checked out before this. We got another one. We also got my hero volume one. And this one was volume three indeed. So we got these two volumes of My Hero Academia. Is it worth reading? Is it worth picking up? I don't know for sure yet. Let me know. But it is such a big name in the industry that I thought, how can I even pass up on these two? My Hero Academia, volume one and volume three. That's in the first one, let's go. So moving on to the next one is something, unfortunately guys, I already unboxed. It was my birthday recently. Uh, my girlfriend got me a present. She got me another one actually, but this is the first one that I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. Silent Voice Complete Box Set, which contains a volume a one through seven of a silent voice, which is pretty cool, with some bonus things inside that I am going to show you. But if you want to see the covers, you gotta wait for the official manga haul that is coming up pretty soon. I always first make an unboxing of some of the manga and then the full thing is gonna be up a little while after that. So subscribe if you wanna stay tuned for that one. But for now, let's check out the bonuses in this box set. We've got the communication the notebook, which is something that I'm guessing is gonna come up in the series. Really happy that she gave me this. How cool is that, guys? The communication notebook, which is... Just like the Dev Note notebook with uh, Lindell Taylor in it and stuff, which is pretty cool. And it also has something else. It has the first chapter in the back of To Your Eternity uh, as well, which is pretty cool. And then we got a poster, a double-sided one, but something strange going on. Uh, the Viz Media posters that you normally get in like a Naruto box or whatever, they always are two-sided as well, but two-sided of that series. And here we have... Bro, a To Your Eternity poster, which is a pretty cool one. And then on the other side, we do have a poster of a silent voice. This is a pretty smart marketing, but I'm also happy that Viz doesn't do this, that they just don't put in first chapters and all that, and To Your Eternity adds into a box set of something else. This is my first Kodansha box set ever. They don't make a lot of those. The quality of this poster is maybe even a little bit better than the Viz ones. Stay tuned for the covers though. So let's move on to the next package uh we've got a book depository one right here i don't know if you guys ever order at book depository but it works like this you always get them one volume per package which is the strangest thing ever i don't know why they do it but let's see what's inside this thing these have been coming in really sporadically bloody monday volume volume 11 which is the uh the last one in the series uh, the back looks pretty damn cool with this is Falco, Falco on the side and Falco on the front. Bloody Monday is a really cool Death Note-esque, Death Note-like series, which I have read the first four volumes on uh, of, but I thought that it would go out of print pretty fast because like a lot of mangas are going out of print right now. Uh, Bloody Monday is one that is by Kodansha that is a bit niche, that doesn't have an anime. Let's pick it up whilst I still can because I have a feeling that this won't be available for a long time. So I think it's annoying that series that is that are maybe not that high on your priority list that are like, uh, I guess they're cool, but I don't know if I wanna pick them up right now. Those are always the series that go out of print real fast. So Bloody Monday is not something that I'm, I've, it's the highest priority for me to read, but it, is, it has to be my highest priority to buy because simply otherwise we'll go out of print. A bit of a, a manga about a hacker uh, against the Russian government, which is always a really nice uh, cliche. And he is trying to prevent a war from happening and all this stuff. So it's pretty good, pretty exciting. Would recommend it. So look out for it if you have the chance. Bloody Monday, volume 11. 
Next up is a manga that has also been popping up recently a whole lot in the manga community. I have seen this one being mentioned a lot. I've seen this one being thrown out a lot. We got Blue Period Volume 1. It has been uh, really active in the manga community. A lot of people have made a video on it. So then I'm going to check it out because I'm a manga tuber as well, guys. If you didn't realize that yet. And uh, Blue Period, as you can see by the cover, which is a really appealing one. This is about painting. This is about becoming a good painter, I guess. I have one little problem with this. The price tag is 13 bucks, and this is a pretty thick foil. It has color pages in the front for sure, but don't know how long running this is going to be. And I already got the second volume, which I'm not going to show you. So subscribe for the manga when I am going to show it. But the second one is a lot thinner than the first one, guys, believe me. And that's that does concern me a bit, because if that's going to be the standard price for such thin volumes, I don't know if I can keep this up because I don't think it's worth it unless the story is really good. Kodansha trying to rip my wallet off, man. My wallet's getting empty because of Kodansha, but they make a lot of good titles recently as well. I'm liking Kodansha recently, but I also gotta pay up. So already moving on to the final one of this unboxing. I gotta say, I think this was a pretty short and sweet a video. The manga haul itself is going to be a lot longer, of course. I have really only shown you the tip of the iceberg. I've got so much manga this month again. And, bro, I literally, I said to myself, I'm not going to buy too much uh, in the upcoming months because I got a little bit of a backlog left. And ordered about, I think we're sitting about 70 volumes in one month. So, uh, yeah, so that's far from cheap, but I guess it's how it is. So we're moving on to the last package here. Uh, keeping this video a bit short. Opening it up. Seeing what's inside it is gonna be. I already am predicting this. We have for you uh, Dragon Ball Super Volume 11. Dragon Ball Super is really dope. Volume 12 is coming in the mail as well. I like Dragon Ball Super. There are a lot of people who don't like Dragon Ball Super but I really like it especially the Moro arc. I think Dragon Ball is just so hype always. It always contains hype moments, cool moments, fighting. Let me flip through this book. And what do we see first? We see Vegeta and Goku kicking someone's ass. We, rough. And it's always the same. Dragon Ball Super is just hype. I, do, I know it's not the biggest plot. It's not the biggest overarching plot, the biggest cool stuff. But it is really nice. And this cover is a bit weird with Goku eating a hamburger. Uh, it's pretty weird. But it's also pretty unique. So... Dragon Ball Super is something I like to read, so I'm gonna keep picking it up, and it is really good, I think. So that is is is, 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 so that's it gonna be for the manga unboxing video today. Be sure to subscribe for the manga haul. Be sure to leave a like if you like this video, this video in specific. Um, also, is this a nicer format with the, of course, with the lighting, but still the camera focusing on me instead of on my desk. Do you want me to maybe switch that up? Always focus on me, always focus on my desk. Is my face that ugly? Do you like it when I is on the desk or whatever? Just hit me up with what you think of this angle and what you think of this type of video. Guys, enjoy your manga and I'm gonna head out and read some myself. Bye, thanks for watching again.